This is a reading for July 2013 and um, I've spread out a few cards in a spread where I look at the past, present and future and um, I've used more than one deck so this is one technique that um, you can use so I thought I'd show you in the video so that if you're um, playing a round of cards you can give it a go for yourself as well. Okay, so let me just show you here. Okay, so to represent the beginning of the month, okay, so what I've done here is I've spread three cards out here from The Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by uh, Colette Ballot Baron reed Then we have The Beautiful Gateway Oracle by Denise Lynn. Earth Magic by Stephen Farmer. And my trusty old Psychic Tarot by... John Holland. Okay, so as you can see, they're in groups of three representing past, present, and future. And then as you go down, you can actually, like down like this, you can actually read more into each part that you're looking at. So that's what I'm going to do and show you today. Okay, so for the beginning of the month here, and let me just remind you that we've just come out of this powerful energy from the solstice on the 21st of um, June. And a huge supermoon, uh, which was uh, not long ago as well. And the supermoon um, and the solstice brought through really intense energies where a lot of people's emotions were coming to the surface. And, um, and also some people will have gone through some physical symptoms such as headache or muscle pain. Uh, tiredness, maybe a little bit of confusion or something like that. And when that happens, we just have to honour the natural rhythms um, of the universe and just let it be, drink some water and just if anything comes up for you, like past memories, um, you know, strange thoughts, you, think, you might think, oh, I haven't thought of that person for a while, just let it be and, um, and, and release it. So that's where we're coming out of. So this card is about letting things flow and the water... Uh, often represents our subconscious or the unconscious as well as our emotions. So it's letting it go, letting it flow into a natural rhythm and a movement and just honour it as a cycle, as any cycle such as um, feminine cycles. Okay, then also this month it's about looking deeper into things. So this beautiful affirmation here says, deep within me is a majestic radiance. So we have these beautiful sparkling diamonds and uh, oh, crystals, sorry. And if you were to imagine that you had a crystal inside of yourself and you, um, you expand that brightness outwards, you can share that radiance and that light with others. But also this is about looking deep within yourself, um, within the receptacle or the caves within you where all knowledge lies and the new energies are bringing forth this great um, wisdom and truth it's like a nice clean slate and also a card that popped out here so I've placed a few pop out cards is focus and we have the beautiful crystal energy there so see how these two I've put them close to each other because I feel that they're synchronistic um, that they um, are quite similar and they share a meaning of the power of crystals. So um, it's about, for a start, you having the power within you um, to share that, but also if you focus on something, um, then you can make it happen through your own power and crystals can really help you with that. So um, please, um, if you have crystals with you, um, try to focus on placing intent into them to help you with any healing and also I'm feeling with that new windows opening to new vistas okay but they're also saying to proceed softly so take it easy go one step at a time take care stop and have little cups of tea smell the flowers um, and just go gentle take it easy there's no rush so I know so many of us like it's been such a long journey and sometimes we just want to get to that Z, <laughs> but you know we have to go through the H and the F the, and the Y before we get to Z. So um, it's all about taking time and trusting in the universe um, and letting go. So my inner power grows in moments of quietude and that is so true. This is about the inner wisdom that comes when you just sit still and you've let go and you're just quiet with yourself 
this can often happen when you're in that kind of natural meditative state, like when you're washing the dishes or having a shower. Often then some, um, some insight comes through. Okay, and I also have this pop-out card here. It says Stone People, Villagents. And what I get from this card is that um, stones have an energy and a wisdom, as do trees, um, as do crystals, as do many things on earth. And they just sit still and they stay and they remain. And they may be weathered by um, different energies and different weather, but they weather the storm. And they just have this innate sense of strength um, and wisdom. So if you could harness that for yourself and use that energy and that insight. And again, see the opening through the clouds. It's very much reminding me of this one here where I said that new windows are opening. So I'm feeling that that is a key message as well. To see past the fog and into um, clarity. Okay, also the beginning of the month we have Island Solitude. This is about this little lone tree here. And also I'm noticing the colour purple. So I've seen that reflected in the crystals here as well as there. Okay, so that's popping out to me. So when you're doing card readings, look at what pops out to you. And the purple is representing for me spirituality and connection. Um, so, and it is a soul tree. So you might be feeling alone in your convictions or in your feelings or in your explorations. Um, or just generally, um, and it's a bit of a rocky cliff there and a bit of a stormy background, but look at the light that's coming. So much wisdom is gained through um, spending time by yourself and to honour that. Okay. And we have the base chakra, which represents um, our, which is the lower um, chakra, which represents um, things such as um, money and the foundations, um, your work, um, anything like that. And also it's very, very connected to the earth because it's a lower chakra. So this is um, acknowledging a couple of things for me now. One is to ground yourself and to focus on healing your thoughts about money, um, general abundance and prosperity, about work and all things such as taxes and um, bills, um, everyday life, those kinds of concerns and worries. So to let go of that and for some healing in that area. Okay, now let's see what um, the middle of the month energies are br br um, bringing forward. So here we have the fire prince. It says optimism but also aggression. So two opposite ends of the spectrum. So in this card I'm getting the great sense of fire energy of representing creation and passion and setting your intentions and watching them flame and, and burn a light, a light. And this also represents um, creativity, um, anything you are creating in your life. Um, but also to watch that you don't burn the two ends of the stick, that you don't get too tired or overwhelmed, that you're not trying to do too much. This goes back to taking things easily, as I mentioned in this card here. So um, this card really is about staying optimistic, but just be careful at the same time. And then embrace the future that is before you, this uh, female. Again, look, she's wearing purple. Notice all the purple colors. So there's lots of, lots of spiritual metaphor here. And also um, the sky, the stars, the, the possibilities, the mountain peaks, and um, the green pastures ahead, and the shadows from what she's um, leaving behind. It says, as an affirmation, I step into the future with an open heart. And this archway I'm really drawn to, Again, these cards here have archways, so I'm feeling this is representing stepping into a new archway, a gateway. Uh, this is also bringing into mind that number 1111, if you're seeing that. Um, that's significant too, of entering um, gateways, portals, new um, revelations and consciousness, and watching your thoughts as you go along your journey. And then we have uh, a message about grounding in the tree, and I mentioned the stone people before, and I also made a mention of the tree so here we have it here it's important to stay rooted and grounded in earth and even though you have the purple colors above again representing spirituality um, it's important to stay connected to the earth as well and to have that balance between the two and then 
what is happening with this full moon, which for me right now, this circle is representing the recent supermoon. And um, and from that is burning a new seed and this seed is expanding and we're raising our consciousness and the veil is getting thinner, which for me is represented by the, um, the soft black um, netting that is around him um, and much, much wisdom, but it's a positive thing. So this is about awareness and you're reminded to stay aware and to stay in the truth because we're in a period right now where a lot of truths are being unveiled on not only personal levels but global levels which impacts the whole universe so um, this card is really signifying this but it's very positive if you look at the the look on his face okay and now for the end of the month it says the sun dances joyful activity celebration of life abundance so very positive ending for july um, this is about letting go um, finding joy in your life and just yeah, enjoying the um, two things. One is enjoying your spiritual exploration and your development in your own life, but also enjoy um, anything new that is coming to you and just very simple everyday um, things and to um, really enjoy that, have a laugh and so on. And these structures here remind me of Stonehenge and I feel that there is this energy coming out from it and this sort of this new dawn um, arising from this. So celebrate abundance in your life and anything, um, and anything new that it will be to come. Okay, so this is also reminding me of the sort of the ritual that the solstice um, brings and represents and I feel like that this is bringing a new energy I feel like there have been people around the world and especially at sacred places such as Stonehenge um, that are have put in energy and intention and ritual into harnessing these new energies and the light onto earth planting seeds so this now is about um, okay what are we making that is new Seeds of grace are being planted in the fertile fertile soil of my soul, which is a beautiful affirmation by Denise Lynn. And this little bird here, what does it represent to you? First, I get um, a sense of being solitaire, that aloneness I mentioned, the solitude, but also it's a little symbol of hope and beauty and grace. And these seeds are beautifully being planted. We have the nice grounding tree and the sun on the horizon there. So this is about new things to come. And then this card, Whale Breach, this is about breaking through to the surface and recent energies have shown a lot been coming to the surface, as I said before, personally and also globally. And this to me represents a breakthrough in your life, a breakthrough for you personally, a breakthrough and a welcoming of the light. See how the light is pressed on his stomach there. And it is a joyful maneuver by the whale to pop out of the water. He's normally in this, um, inside the water, his natural habitat, but he's popping through and breaking outwards. Also a sign to connect with the stars and the heavens and um, you know the greater universe beyond and to enjoy that light and embrace it and bathe in it. And we have the power card here. So this is a great sense of birthing, birth, uh, birthing strength and, and wisdom and staying true and holding true to what you believe in. It reminds me also of that stone card that I mentioned before. So the sense of a strong rock. And there's great power in this. So stay true to your power. And enjoy um, as this month unfolds with the wisdom and awareness blossoming into spiritual power and strength in your life. Okay, so thank you for listening everyone. And I'll be back next month with some more angel messages. Um, so see you then. Bye.